return to Motorfest for some drifting action. Honestly, I am properly excited for this because drifting in this game overall since launch has kind of been on the back burner. Even though they did an incredible job and in making the drift handling, I think much better than it has previously. When you jump into the game today and beyond, you will notice there is a volume two of the Drift Experience playlist. So we're continuing on with the drifting and it looks like it's gonna get pretty mental with some map additions and changes like this one right here. I'm probably excited, genuinely excited because I love drifting in the crew too, as much as I just spoke down on it. And ultimately new challenges and rewards which I'm very interested to see exactly what those are. Are we going to get some more engine swap sounds? Are we going to get some... What, what are we going to get? And I know there's a new car as well, which is the MX-5, which yeah, we could have seen something a bit nicer. I'm overall very happy to see this because I, I, I felt like since day one when we got... This too is a perfect marriage of sightseeing and skill. That sounds beautiful to me. I was kind of worried that one playlist every three months is just, it's just not enough. Like I, I enjoy the playlists, some more than others, but ultimately another drift playlist is very welcome. I, I miss doing drifting. I, I used to be so good at drifting on the previous game, but I just, there's no events to put the time into it. That looks like my car for a second there. <laughs> it's like, damn, that's my, I look like my old back gun. But we got, uh, we got a bunch of all-wheel drive cars one more time. No, 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 no. We need to do it multiple more times. Multiple drifts. I know that YouTube video. So they, they used a lot of licensed uh, YouTube video, licensed a lot of YouTube videos for this section, which makes sense. And it makes it per perfect time to get it in. With the Hoonigan update just being here. We've got brand new drift cars that are crazy. We definitely want to make use of them. So I, now I've built my collection. Oh, I wonder how this plays. Are we going to use specific cars? I completely forgot about that element. It was going to be like, oh, I'm going to use the Hoonigan. <laughs> I guess I can afterwards. Anyway, this is the playlist activator. And of course, we get some extra activities and things like that. But the actual events is all I really care about, if I'm completely honest. So we have got, I think it's seven events. Six new feats. Cool. Yep. Yeah. Photo ops. Cool. Yep. Yeah. And fast travel to container. Uh, new fast travel locations. That's handy as well. And I see a drift event over there by the volcano. That has me quite excited indeed. So I actually wanted to show you guys something. You might remember this video. We actually did a game of the year. We do that. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. And for the first time ever, these incredible little trophies are going. Okay, not those ones specifically, but someone claimed their award and it's the crew, obviously, because I'm playing the crew. As much as I love our iconic awards, I had to create a proper one. Ivory Tower hasn't even seen this yet, but here you go. Ooh. What do you think? Our first award. I love it. It's uh, it's sick. Now, if your playlist is crap, I'm not going to send it. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to be using then. So we've got the Supra, which is nice. But yes, we are using their cars. You can, of course, once you've beaten them, use your own cars. But anyway, one thing I wanted to do, this playlist, I'm going to put it on the hardest difficulty. I don't think it makes a difference in terms of drifting. Maybe the awards uh, re requirements are higher. I think rewind, NOS, sure. XP doesn't really matter that much, but for the fact that they've got this category right here for the replay, the playlist experience, it just doesn't really make sense to me that they're not adding more playlists. So this is th nice to see. One final thing before we start, set your points to slippery if you want some easy wins. That's that's how you do it. It's I know it's not really fair, but there's a tip for you. Make your life easier. Oh, and also this. This is the perfect time to actually do it. And I still need more legend points. We will get there. <laughs> Let's get this started. Considering the time of day, you're hardly going to get a spotlight, but the lighthouse is an iconic location. Oh, so it's going to be like a little tour as we do the drifting. Hey, that's pretty cool. So the objective is 170,000. I need to get into it. Please hold. Enjoy curving your way around, but watch for the turtles. You know they gave this place its name. Oh my god, I'm struggling. I think this is a retry, actually, but the, I think it, fail, it felt a little bit different. I was just drifting around in the free run with the Supra, and now all of a sudden it's a little bit different here. What the? What is going on? There we go! Now, if you've never done drifting in Motorfest, or you don't really know how to do much drifting in Motorfest, basically, the best thing for the actual drift events is to chain as long as possible, don't crash at all, and that's how you get the best score doesn't really matter how you do as long as you've got that multiplier it, it does kind of remove the skill a little bit but it's possible without it e e e e e e 
Oh, no, I just banked it. So that's what you don't want to do. If you want to get like world record scores, do not bank your points. Man, this water is messing me up. This way people tell me it doesn't make a difference. It might not. Come on! Oh, I need more power. This is why I decided to keep the NOS on because I think it would be super helpful to get my speed back up from the wheels spinning a little bit of torque it's gonna be great this is the foot i'm literally gonna fail the first attempt at this <laughs> uh maybe don't listen to my advice uh i need to make some changes so i put traction control back on one thing that i kind of was hoping especially with this playlist was the launch of the ability to basically have traction off on certain vehicles and traction on on others because i forget and then i go into a grand race and it's damn too late to change it there you go absolutely smashed it the first time traction control definitely holds you however it bogs you down quite significantly i just lost the combo are you kidding me i would definitely want to try sport but this is the playlist where we can actually discover these things as we go i'm properly interested to see how I get on with all the settings adjusting throughout this. And of course, I'll let you know exactly what we end up on. But last time, I feel like the drift playlist just wasn't long enough. I needed more. That 90 times multiplayer holding, holding. I need to use my own car on that event. That's going to be so much fun. I, I remember sweating so much on the airport, the airfield drift event on the crew too. I loved it. Annoyingly, most of the drift events in this game seem to be races with drift cars. Damn it, Burgess! God damn it! On to event number two then. This one seems to be in a skyline. And this time I'm going to try and change the traction to sport. It also doesn't help that I'm changing car every two seconds because, well, ultimately it's going to be different, isn't it? <laughs> However, here we go. They're kind of obsessed with their all-wheel drive drift cars. <laughs> we had the Evo that time as well on the first one. That's probably one of the mo most memorable events. Anyway, let's get going. Driving is not the only movie star here, driver. The location is quite iconic as well. Yeah, I need a little bit more speed on this. I think that's one of the big things is we definitely need more powerful drift cars for these events. What movies were filmed here? I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. I, I should know this. Maybe you could tell me. Maybe they can't use the names. That's kind of awkward, isn't it? Maybe you don't mention it. Yeah, maybe that traction control is maybe too much. Like, I want to be able to slide a whole section like this, but it seems like it starts to pull into the wall very, very quickly because it's just bogging down. It definitely is now getting a little frustrating in that, ultimately, I would like to use my own cars. Maybe later playlist should have that option, like, as an option. Because ultimately, if I was doing this in my own dab cars... I would be sliding, I would, I would be pro drift magee. I get it for the first playlist, but especially when we're doing second playlists on the drift ones like this, we should use our own cars. I think that makes sense. The initial one, it sets you up. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, Fergus, you are, mate, you are, it's so close, so close, so close. If I don't beat Fergus on one of these events, we're going to redo them all again, okay? My guess is that the points change based on the difficulty because I... I Oh my god, we're driving a super again. <laughs> because yeah, the, the, the score seem to be getting quite high. 250,000. The ins and outs of drift racing. And now you get to demonstrate how the power of your car matches the powerful sights of nature. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Is it necessary? I understand they need like a voice line or something to just kind of spice it up a little bit, but I don't I, I, <laughs> so far I don't know how I feel about them. <laughs> Piss on it! Do you know what? I'm actually going to say this Z4 might be one of the best handling vehicles we've driven so far. It's not touching the traction control much at all, which makes me think, turn off the traction and it's going to be good. We're also going downhill, <laughs> so that might be part of it, but... but this is sick. It's really cool that we've got like these locations that are popping up around the map. I don't know. There's going to be some where people maybe want to use these in free roam. But there's going to be some people that will be annoyed with the amount of stuff that gets added to free room if that was the case. So how do you how do you do that? <gasps> oh, how do you navigate that situation? What would you do? What would you prefer? I think for me, I'm actually under the side of I would quite like it in free room. The more the better. Personally, the map changing over time is pretty cool. They got to make sure they have 
drift summit like drift event summit and i'm gonna be hopping on that if that's the case <laughs> it's been a while since i did proper like full summit normally i'm like yeah bronze or silver is all i need the rewards otherwise don't really need them that much come on Ooh, avoid the cones wait i banged how did i bang when did that happen maybe i hit one of those cones very lightly that's so annoying Ooh! Ooh! come on no <laughs> fergus what you machine I, I, I swear i swear one retry and th that would be it for you mate lamborghini mercy drip the world record is 1.2 million on this wow i'm kind of curious is that yeah yeah so that's just the playlist and the difficulty is ramping up again that's awesome really really cool so if you go to custom there's a different leaderboard which the points actually is not that different let's get it done come on oh this thing's gonna be stunning i'm i'm really excited for this i completely forgot there was a drift mercy the, the drift hypercars, the drift supercars in this game genuinely are just used for summit races. The urban sprawl of Honolulu mixes well with dim lit escapades. This honestly looks sick. Don't get distracted by the allure of the city or the weather conditions. Keep your focus on those combos. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. NOS is definitely helping. So I'm not even using the traction control to be honest, so... You may as well turn it off. It might catch you every now and again. But it doesn't... It's not actually doing anything until that thing lights up. So this is pretty nice. Just got like an extra safety layer there as well. I think this may be my favorite one so far. It looks stunning. You're driving an incredible machine. This one I wish was in the map. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's properly sick. Give me that target. Score now! I earned it! Oh, it's 65. I thought it was 55. See, I'm not I'm focused. I'm not paying attention to the to the puny score numbers. Oh, Fergus, you are toast. You are so toast. Try and beat this. Try and do it. A man in his one of his dream cars sliding around. No, don't lose it. Yes, Fergus Peter. 30 seconds remain. Hold it. Hold it. Now, the thing is, people that have beaten the world like the world record holder is on 1.2 million that is just skill and nothing but that is crazy i mean it's not nothing but they've also got all the multipliers and stuff on there but i've got, I've got most of them and i only got that Wow, that is that is a really fun event that might be the one that I keep sweating. <laughs> I think one thing that needs to happen is the money that you make from the events, the reward that you get from them definitely needs to increase. Because if it does, then ultimately more people are going to play it. But there's more reason, right? I think, it's, again, especially the later playlists. We only got 15 grand from that. What am I going to do with 15 grand? <laughs> I could do a grand race and earn, what, like 80 grand just like that and i'm the progression person i'm like that grind is good but if there's something else that gives you so much more money I i'm gonna do that more money for the lads and ladies so if they added the location to the map it would only be here and it doesn't seem to actually take over any part so th this would be really cool this would be sick i want this please add it i demand i demand i'm also getting bonus xp right now trend driver so Motor Best have prepared another supercar for another all-star performance. At McLaren 12C. The McLaren 12C is I just said that. <laughs> I just said it, my damn stuff. I don't... I know what I'm doing. My guy looks so tiny. I always forget how small supercars, but also how adjustable the seats are in the supercars. Right, let's get down. This snaps. I'm sure the sights of those majestic ships never get old. This is sick. This is a cool map. Holy crap. Look how wide and big this is. This car drives really well. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. I'm thinking like need for speed brain. I'm boosting to try and keep my combo. I don't think it, I don't think it makes a difference on here. No! Balls to it. Stuff your cones. You're doing me bloody head in. <laughs> but the drifting is one of the things they do really well. And I, I, oh, I just realized completely as well that ultimately i should now be able to max out my drift cars because before i think i was one point off i wasn't very because of the jim Carner stuff i was pretty close but before that I... nah pearl alba pearl necklace 
what is it like seven, seven o'clock pearl arbor 12 o'clock pearl necklace i'm so sorry i actually did not expect the 12c to be this good at sliding it, it's really nice I guess that it helps that it was, you know, originally a rear wheel drive car. But I guess because the power is just setting off, it gets it spinning properly quickly. Maybe this is what I'm used to when I'm drifting in this game. <laughs> Fergus got 520. Nah, no chance. I messed it up right at the beginning. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I'm going to build one. If I haven't built one already, I think I might. I think it's got a big British livery on it. <laughs> Next up, I demand drift PVP. Or drift combo horizon test wrong game to be fair I, I wasn't that far off considering i did hit a cone very early on i think he crashed as well at least we completed the objective hey 300 in the world maybe this actually might be one of my favorite playlists i've played uh this side of it of course at launch obviously there's a hell of a lot more but look at that area that would be sick no, maybe that's too much. That one, I think that one's too much. <laughs> Put the one in Honolulu, Honolulu there. That's, that's spicy. So next up, we have this America boy, which is pretty cool. This one is 300 kit. <laughs> There's no way a limiter should sound like that in a American muscle car. And we're off. It sounds meaty. Wait. Listen, I never understood why they kept this old boy in for so long. <laughs> Wait, did I lose my points? What? Are you kidding me? I'm struggling up here. <laughs> it might sound meaty, but it's still an old Camaro. <laughs> this thing's dated now. I was kind of curious why they always kept this in, because yeah, it, it, this is like Crew 1 model. <laughs> it, it looks fine, granted, because a lot of them are, but... Hey, yo, what the frick? There's bloody things that I've got to avoid that punch out. <laughs> hey, I'm all for making things a little bit... <gasps> oh! So initially, I will say that I like that those are there. It makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. However, it's kind of scary. Don't need the thing! <laughs> this sound definitely makes me want to use this car more. <laughs> it sounds spicy. Keep that 90, keep that 90, keep that 90. Come on, Camaro, stop bugging! Maybe traction control is a terrible idea. It's holding me and I don't want it to. Let me free, free my boy. Free my Camaro, please. No! <gasps> Definitely doing better the second time round. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore Fergus' score on this one. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what triggers the traction because sometimes when i think it should be there it's just not <gasps> be focused be focused be focused focus i said i wasn't gonna try i didn't maybe i'm better at being com competitive when i'm not competitive with other people i'm just myself trying to maintain <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> fire camera Mwah. fantastic i'm really I, I really like this playlist it it's properly simple doesn't really do anything new but I almost don't think it needs to because Drift was properly neglected. Think of all the race playlists that exist. Now there's this. They should do like a rock crawling one and everything. Oh my God. That is the new car, which makes me think this might be the last one, which is half a shame. But I th genuinely, Drift Racing, I think, has the most replayability in terms of single player. It just kind of makes sense. You're battling yourself a score. It's not based on time. It's based on like angle and scale and control, which I think I prefer than actual racing. Time trials are not, not really my thing. Other stuff with cars be better. Right, traction is off now. Let's see how we get on now. We're warmed up. This is a race car. Ah, we tower. <laughs> this is a race car. I see what you're doing here. And now I think this is the prize car, isn't it? The second drift experience should crescendo around the observatory. Not only is it a landmark site on the island. Y yeah. Y you're going to finish what you're saying. Anyway, cool you to also have a striking view of the volcanoes. Indulge us with your excellence, driver. Thank you very much, lady. Anyway, I'm glad that they add the extra little bits. Of no! Just to kind of spice it up a little bit. It's nice to see. Things, extra things to think about. It's always super, super cool. Oh, that's what they're doing. Oh. No, I'm still going to say it. I still like it. 
it's still cool. And there's some events without it and some with. I didn't even know there was another observatory in this map. This thing's scraping. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little, a little bit too low. Now, I don't know about you, Ooh. <laughs> but I would love to see in the future as well, in, in drift games in general, and not drift games, but the crew, and a, a kind of more... So Underground 2 had a top-down camera, and that worked quite well, I think, for a couple of reasons. But I would really love to see like a, a semi-top-down camera. It's not 100% top-down. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> These are not cool. These are not cool. Ah! <laughs> ah! And by that, I mean they are very cool. I just lost my combo. Mom, no! <laughs> Help! Ah! Now, those are super cool, mate. This is all about precision drive, precision drifting. I know what I'm doing. I'm the pro here. I'm going to say I don't really miss traction control. <laughs> what I do think heavily, heavily helps, it's pretty obvious, is the uh, drift assist. However, the more, the more comfortable option is maybe too much at least i think you can set it like there's a couple of methods right a couple a couple of things and also boosting to get that wheel spin up just like we had to use to actually get the drift to initiate in the crew one <laughs> fergus beaten oh fergus where are you hitting everything absolutely smashing into everything are you but i'm in a, I'm in a bit of trouble are you oh my god 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 stay it stay 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 thank you Bless up. We get into the section again with the bloody batons. I don't know what you call them. It's like them things that soft play. <laughs> I'm also at that age where an adult like soft play area sounds the most fun it ever has, and I need to do it quickly. I I, I feel like my fate <laughs> is to, to soft play once again. You know what? This might be one of my favorites, and this car actually is really, really nice overall. I'm kind of actually looking forward to having this and using it in other events. No, I just lost my combo! I hate this car! It's stupid! <laughs> Stop scraping. It, it, it feels like a race car sometimes. <laughs> it just wants to go straight. Like, grippy, grippy. Mwah. Mwah. Thank you, thank you. 200. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, see, the, the final event gives you 20,000. <laughs> all right, I think... Is that it? Yep, we are back to the container, which is time for our reward. I wonder what the reward is going to be. Hmm. Is it the MX-5 that we just used? I actually... Yeah, it is. I couldn't tell for a second. It looked, it looked more like an S2000 in the distance. Pretty cool. Uh, you know what? Of the playlists, this one I actually have intent to replay. The, the, the Hoonigan one, it was fine, but I've replayed maybe a couple of the events. But this one, I definitely can see these ones, all of them. I can see myself replaying with my own personal cars, which I'm actually quite excited to do. And again, finish building up my drift spec. I've only just got to max level, so I probably haven't got all the yellow parts yet. And just kind of seeing what I blend with. Okay, 75k. I completely forgot about that. I don't want to select one. Oh, yeah, the challenges. We need to see the challenges. Duh, I completely forgot about that. There's still a lot to it. It's not just the races. Oh, and I've got a reward for the Jim Carner thing. What's my reward? Oh, nice. Nine grand. Let's go. So, Drift Volume 2. Challenges unlocked. So, the rewards are 50,000 bucks. We've got a, a Drift Experience outfit. Cool. Crew credits. Cool. Perf parts. Cool. And this is the... Oh, wait. No, this is the bundle we want. So, we've got the... Pop no, I can't see. Right, being honest, the rewards... I get it. it, it what really can you... I was expecting this one to keep changing. Uh, expecting this one to keep changing. Uh, okay. The rewards are... um, They're okay. But we do have... Wait, drift for one minute above 75. What kind of pish is that? That's easy. Wait, without ABS? Now, hold on. <laughs> drift for 1.2 miles while using Nitro. Uh, dr drive. Wait. Yeah, it's a drift. Drive. 12 miles in free drive. Nice drift challenge, yep. <laughs> and of course, we've got the brand new side activities as well, in case, you know, you like taking pictures. There's our brand new drift car. And of course, let's see, do I actually have all the parts now to upgrade fully? So, max level is 700, 700. Yes, 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 yes. He's done it. We can finally fully max out my drift car. So, of course, we now get to play the events with our custom cars. And I want to jump into the damn hood again, fully upgraded, and get this thing popping. So, so ready to lay down some proper top scores 
I forgot how weird this thing slides. This might actually not be the best choice. <laughs> it kind of still has that feel where it's just... You hear the scraping? No, I take it back. This might be the king. <laughs> Holy crap. You definitely have to be on the boost with this car to get it to basically swap the other way. That all-wheel drive drifting, though, is wild. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. This is scary. I, just, I can't get over how stable this thing is. <laughs> and then it bogs down and you want to switch to the other way. Then it feels properly all-wheel drive. Give it a tap of the boost. Oh, oh I just lost my combo. <laughs> uh, not that I was getting anywhere near that world record. What the hell? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> What I, like, what I completely missed about the drifting in this game to be so low behind the world record there. That is impressive. Super, super fun. Make sure you check out this playlist if you're into the slides. But there you go, my friends. That's my score. If you can beat me, uh, do uh, tweet me your, your score. Uh, please don't show me if it's a million, though. Okay? Appreciate you. And check out these Modafest videos right here.